All right, I'm back. I got all of the beer racked from my primary fermenter over to my secondary. Uh, it was just taking longer. It wasn't much of a video, and I I was kind of dumb, and I, I lost my prime once. Not sure if you can see it, but there's a bit of yeast left in the bottom, all kinds of sediment. I have my water going, so now it's time to check the specific gravity. It's a, it's a good idea to, to keep a journal and to, uh, to make note of what your original and final gravities are. Uh, water is ready, so then I can get the sugar dissolved with the boiling water. And then uh, I can stir that in, and then we can go on and start bottling. So, I took that uh, sample for specific gravity, and it's a long way down, so it's, it's done fermenting. It is right on 1.010, so exactly from what I can see, exactly what I want. Perfect. Means we're good to go. I guess we need to see if it's even worth bottling. It's not carbonated yet, but it smells all right. I got a lot of malt, definitely a lot of malt flavor there. It's not bad, not bitter at all. Well, I mean, compared to a IPA or something. Just right. It's a good pale ale. Definitely some malt sweetness left over. Not bad. <laughs> That's uh that makes me happy. I didn't I didn't screw up the first one. So we can get our sugar ready. Uh, one half cup for my one half batch, one half cup of dextrose in one half cup of boiling water, whatever water it takes to dissolve. And you mix that in here, mix it in good. So then it's, uh, you, you're ready to, uh, you, the yeast has something to, to eat so that it can make some more carbon dioxide and uh, you have a nice carbonated beer instead of flat beer. There's other ways of doing this there. I saw, I think it's Cooper's, there's some charging tabs or whatever, you just toss one in each bottle. But this seems to be a pretty good way of doing it as well. Uh, this is just plain old dextrose. pretty good. I'll be needing this again in probably another three or four weeks. So I had been boiling the water there. Keep in mind that everything has been sanitized. This measuring cup, the spoon that I'm going to use to stir, everything's been sanitized. It doesn't have to be sterilized like baked in an oven, but everything clean and you it should be okay.
That was pretty easy. That looks pretty well dissolved. I'll, I'll take a picture of this before I bottle so you can see what the inside looks like. Of course I want to be careful that I'm not aerating too much. And I'll let that sit for a minute. I'll get my bottles together and I'll set up another video. I have my, my capper ready to go. I have a number of bottles. I have some of these swing tops, one liter. And then a number of 650 mil regular bottles. That's uh, that's pretty much all I need to do for this video. I'll be back in an instant. Hmm. If I even bottle it at all. <laughs> 